welcome back. So today I'm doing another drugstore review of a foundation that came out recently. Now it's from L'Oreal. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. Now L'Oreal has several different foundations in the Infallible line. They have the Infallible Pro Glow. They have the Infallible Pro Matte. And then now they have the Infallible Total Cover. So this is boasting to be a 24 hour wearing foundation. I'm not going to test it out for 24 hours, but I will test it out for a 12 hour period just to put it to the test. And also I will insert the clips of how it's wearing so that you can see throughout the day. Um, and well, it says up to 12 hours, 24 hours. So who's going to wear the foundation 24 hours? I mean, if you are, that's sad that you have to wear your foundation that long. Like, I feel for you. You should be able to wash your face off. It says it gives a weightless feel. It comes in at 12 different shades, so that is a better range than some of the other foundations that I've been reviewing lately from the drugstore. It says it gives a natural finish, 24-hour wear, let's see, high complete coverage, and an air light texture. This says you can use it to cover your legs, your arms, anywhere, so it's for the body as well. That's very interesting. I've never heard a foundation other than saying face and body, but from the drugstore that boasts for the body as well. This foundation is $12.99 and it comes with one fluid ounce, which is a typical fluid ounce for a foundation. That's the typical amount of product that comes inside of a foundation. And the packaging, it doesn't have a pump, it's a squeezy tube, So, but it does have a tapered sort of like spigot. Is that the right word for it? Probably not. Let's just put it on my hand first and see how it comes out. I haven't tried this at all. So it does come out in like a very like moussey, not liquidy form. We're just going to give this a whirl. The shade that I have is 301 Classic Ivory. Okay, so it's very, very thick. Okay. Put it on right here. Seems like this is going to be a pretty good match for me. I have a lot of redness and discoloration in my skin. Ooh, it may be a little bit light. We'll see. If it's a, if it's a little bit too light, I will be able to use um, like bronzer and stuff to figure that out. Okay, so I'm just going to use a beauty blender to blend this in. Ooh, that's very full coverage. For real, for real. It's a little, this color is a touch light for me. Uh, I need something a little bit less, a little bit more yellow, but I mean, cause that's like very pasty white, which I don't like. Cause that sometimes makes me feel like it looks more foundation-y, you know what I mean? Especially in a high coverage foundation. If it's too light, then it just gives me like a really bad first impression. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, it does when something is too light. So I know that that could just be a color thing and not a product but I'm just saying as far as a first impression whenever I use foundations that are too light I tend to feel like they're too cakey makeup just because since they are so light you can see them you know what I mean it has nothing really to do with the foundation itself it's just sometimes when you get a bad first impression it's hard to get another one but I'm trying to look at how it blends into the skin and it looks like I mean, if I'm looking up close with a mirror, it looks like I can't really see it on the skin. Well, I'm comparing one side of the face to the other without having any type of like bronzer or any product on, it looks very foundation-y just because you can te definitely see because it is so high coverage. Sets down, it definitely gives a natural finish. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It's moussey. The product works in very, very well. Um, I do have some dry patches on my forehead, so I'm going to look and see when everything is covered. They're typically over here a little bit more. I will look and see when everything is covered to see how uh, this looks on that. I do have just a moisturizer on, but I don't have a primer. Uh, I wanted to just give it a test out with how it claims. It claims 24-hour wear, so I didn't want to wear like any type of like long-wearing primer, but I did hydrate my skin, which I typically do before all foundations. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in and fill, fill in the other part of my face. <laughs> like you paint it type of thing. I'm just gonna go and fill in the rest of my face. Paint my numbers. Okay, to finish the rest of my forehead, I needed a touch more product. It does, it does meld into the skin pretty well. 
I will say. Now, I, can, I looked up close at my forehead and I can see it adhering to the dry patches. And I exfoliated my skin last night, but oh my gosh, it's just so dry right now. Like really tight and dry. So I don't really know if there's anything I can do about those dry patches, but you can, it looks more foundation-y. Oh yeah. Oh, really, really, really bad. Like you can see it attaching to all of the dry patches. There's literally nothing I can do about them, but you can see it on the skin there and it looks horrible. Oh, really bad. That's like a major fail. If you have dry skin, I do not think this is going to be a foundation for you. I think this is going to be only for someone who has oily skin, to be quite honest. Okay, before I put the rest of my makeup on, what I want to say about it is it does dry down to a nice natural looking finish. However, if you have any types of dry patches or skin issues on your face, it adheres to them and then it does not look natural. It looks like patchy crusty foundation on your face so if you have dry skin it's a no-go um, but it is a nice full coverage it feels pretty weightless like it doesn't I don't feel makeupy you know how sometimes if you're gonna be using your cell phone or whatever it's like ugh, some to some full coverage foundations this does not feel like that at all so unfortunately, I think this would be something I could only wear maybe in the summertime if I was looking for a full coverage when my skin has a little bit more oil to it. Uh, so I don't know, the forehead thing is like pretty deal breaker for me. I am going to wear it the whole day so I can see how it wears on the skin. For those of you who do not have any dry patches on your face who might love this foundation. I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and we will be back. Okay, I'm back with all of my the rest of my makeup on. And I think I'm going to go ahead and say right now that I just don't think that I like this foundation for my personal taste or for my skin. I felt like when I was applying makeup on top of it, I could really sort of see it's starting to settle into my skin and not look very natural like really just sitting on top of it in like a dry aspect where it looked and and in places that I know I don't have the most dry patches the most dry patches it looks absolutely horrible like looks like foundation but it really just kind of settles into the pores it might be full coverage it might feel weightless but it definitely doesn't look that way so it looks up close um very foundation-y so although my skin feels really nice when I'm touching it it just feels like there's nothing on it but it just has that moussey texture there's just not enough moisture to it to really kind of smooth out some areas of the skin so anyways I just feel like either my skin's just not working the right way right now this time of year or this just isn't going to be like the foundation for me. So I'm going to continue on with the wear test but I am going to say that um, it's just it's not my favorite foundation, my first impression of it which I'm going to go, like I said I exfoliated my skin so yesterday the dry patches they're just there, they're not extra skin flakes. They're just patches. So you can see like the foundation kind of stuck to it. Um, I'm wondering if maybe I tried like setting it with like a setting spray. Now I didn't put any powder, but I did put like powder products on top as far as bronzer and stuff. So I'm wondering if I set it like with a setting spray, if that might help. So I'm gonna try that really quick and see if that makes any type of difference. Ooh, that always scares me. I don't know if you guys can see it on my forehead, but it is just patchy a patchy patchy mess there's all the dry flakes like I do have some like breakouts and stuff but it's like all of the dryness on my forehead it just literally is like stuck to it and looks like foundation so from far away I don't think it looks bad but when I'm looking up close in the mirror it's just not good so I'm going to test this out for like I said about 8 to 12 hours maybe 8 since I already know this foundation isn't going to be for me um, but we're going to test out the longevity of it and I will check back in later today to see how the foundation wore Okay, so this is my, it's about seven hour check-in. I'm not going any further <laughs> for this foundation. I do not like it. It just doesn't look good on my skin. It 
after time it kind of wore away around my nose which is typical um a little on my chin which again is typical um it still looks bad on my forehead but as far as longevity i do feel like it it kind of held up in for the most part for seven hours uh i did blow my nose and i had lipstick on my chin so i did rub my chin typically i'm not doing that so i'm gonna give an allowance to that I bet this foundation would stay more than, you know, seven hours and look fine. But I don't need a foundation that stays for 24 hours, so that claim to me is just like, eh, neither here nor there. So, here are my final thoughts on the foundation. The packaging is okay. It comes with a decent amount of product. The price point is fine for the amount of product that you get. I find that it lasts on the skin. It is weightless feeling. The finish is more of a matte type finish. It says it's natural looking, which I do feel like if it sunk completely into the skin, it would be, but it almost like sinks into the skin to like blend with your skin, but like adheres to those dry patches and kind of like accentuates the pores a little bit more. It's extremely full coverage. I think if you had oil, more oily skin, you would really, really like this foundation. Uh, if you're looking for full coverage and you have oily skin, you'd really like it. The color for me, Classic Ivory was 301, was a little bit too light. So for me personally, this foundation is a flop for me. I just didn't like the way it adhered to some of the dry patches on my face and sunk into the pores. But I would love to hear some of your thoughts on this foundation. Have you tried it? What do you think? So let me know down below what your thoughts were on this foundation if you've tried it. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on this foundation. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so you don't miss a video. And I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.